Ladies and gentlemen, before we start today's episode, I would like to announce a trade. A subscriber, he has requested the trade. He has personally DM'd me saying, hey, I'm tired of this team. I, I want to be on a different team, a winning team. I want to change the scenery. And guess what? They got their right. And guess what? And that person is the Titan DLC Gaming. Look at that. DLC Gaming. Former buff, former Buffalo Bill is going to the Tennessee Titans. DLC Gaming, he has personally hit me up. He said, hey man, being on the Bills is fun and all. Like, BB Awesome and Jared the G, they're nice people and all. But I'm tired of being on the Bills, man. They suck. I'm tired of them. They don't go to the playoffs. They're trash. I want to be on a team that's good. So put me with a team that wins the Super Bowl. And guess what? If he wants to be on a team that won the Super Bowl, well, guess what? DLC Gaming, he requested to be traded to the Tennessee Titans, the Season 2 Super Bowl winners. And now, Chain Chomp now has a target to throw to now. Will DLC Gaming prove to be the next Rob Gronkowski of the Madden Subscriber League within this trade? May find out. As the Buffalo Bills, they needed a wide receiver, so they got a guy named Joe Smart, who's a 72 overall. Probably not really good value, but... DLC Gaming, that's probably a win for the Tennessee Titans since, you know, DLC Gaming, he has a pretty good, de decent dev dev trade. He has four styles while Smart has three stars, so I feel like that's a good trade. Anyway, this is the second ever trade of Madden Subscriber League history. The first one was Tina Gaming from the Steelers to the Raiders, and now this one, it's DLC Gaming going from the Bills to the, Je to the Titans. So welcome to the team, DLC Gaming. And speaking of Titans, today's game... We are going to be showcasing off the, some of these games. Like, let's show off the schedule real quick. League schedule. The games we are recording is this one and this one. Uh, first off, we're going to record this last, but we're going to record Sunday Night Prime Time. Change off Fan vs. Riz on. This is sort of a rematch. I say sort of because they did face off in the Season 2 regular season finale. But Chain Shot wasn't playing due to an injury and their court and their backup through four interceptions. So now we gotta see if my man Chain Shot fan DLC gaming and And the Deck Coco Mecca can do it. Oh wait, guys, I got some unfortunate news to share with y'all. Uh and if we go to the injury report, we can know that Do Deck is dead again. Oh my god. This happens every time, but hey. Hey. Listen, Deck is back up running back. You know, he balled out in the Super Bowl, man. 74-yard run, touchdown in the Super Bowl. That was an elite play. But what? But will Tim Lynch, will he couldn't capture the Super Bowl greatness again during the season? Let's just have to find out. By the way, this is the first time we're showing off Rizon and Scrap Lasley in this this season. So we're going to show that off. Remember, it's never too late to join the match subscribe league. Just put in your name, position, and number, and I'll join, and I'll let you in. Anyway, let's get into the actual match. And we back. Here it is, Sunday night prime time. The Tennessee Titans versus the Oakland Raiders. So right now we are live in Oakland, California. Even though it's literally the year 2032, they're still somehow in the Oakland Coliseum in Oakland. Even though on IRL they should be going to Las Vegas starting this season in 2020. But you know, it is what it is. Right now, here are, here are the Tennessee Titans right here. Chain Chomp and Mr. Chain Chomp is faced on against Rizon. And this time he has his new teammate with him, DLC Gaming. Which is going to be fun, me. Now before we start off, I got to figure out what number is which. We saw that Nicholas Rizon's number 18. So we got to figure out what number is which. Let's find out in the stats. Not stats, but the death chart, because why not? Alright, so first off, we got... Alright, first off, Chain Chomp, we all know he's 7. Running back, dude, deck is literally dead, but he's number 39. And now the tight end, DLC Gaming, is starting at number 87. Which is fun. Then for the Raiders, Nicholas Rizan's number 18, while his running back is number 22. So just keep that in mind. As now, we are going to simulate the punt because no one watches that shit, let's be honest. Slow. Let's see what happens. Oh, 
low and chain chomping immediately gets sacked. He had no room. Automatically, we start off with a sack. I wasn't even paying attention. And bam, we already started off with a bang. Ready, boom. Chain chomp, boom. Had no room. They're now at the 16-yard line. Now, Chain Chomp fan, he has all the room. He has it all. And, oh, damn, he passed that the DK McCaff, except it, that did not land. Now, he saw the Tennessee Titans. They always managed to come back for some miraculous reason. And there we go. TLC Gaming's first ever pat catch as a Tennessee Titan for five yards. Too bad it ain't, too bad it ain't worth anything now. Well, I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, luckily, that's a penalty, so therefore... Right now, Scrap Lasley! Oh, wait! Wait a minute! Oh, shit! What the hell happened? She was, like, breaking off every single tackle. She was, like, boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Now Rizon has the ball, and he actually catches it. Look at that. Max Wilds, their elite-ass wide receiver, catches it. Rizon throws it in. Oh, crosses him. Oh. Second and six. Oh damn, they tried running it, except it didn't work. But how come that wasn't scrapped Lazzy? Sure, why not? Scrap Lazzy, not scrap Lazzy. Nicholas Rizon has the ball. And you want to know something? He's going to stand there. He's, he's literally going to stand there, you dumbass. That's what you get. You get sacked. Come on. All right, now we got to simulate. Let's watch another drive, shall we? Chain Chomp has, throws the ball, and who does he throw it to? Number 80. Salomon and Fells. That's funny. Now this time runs it with his... Backup running back Tim Lynch runs it in for four yards. Right now, oh, oh, runs it in. This time with a first down. Right now, Chain Chomp has the ball, throws it in. To DK make half, my man. Right here, Chain Chomp throw. Who were you throwing it to, Chain? Right now, they have the ball. Running it in with Tim Lynch. As they pick up the first, and that is going to be the end of the first. That is going to be the end of the first quarter. All right. Right now, they're going to run this in with Tim Lynch, who's just carrying the team at this point. Oh, throws it in. Oh, tries to cross him up. Unfortunately, it does not work. Third and two. I feel like this is the best way to run it. Boom. Did he get it in? Ah, they're literally right there. I feel like they should just go, go, go for it. Or kick a field goal. Why not? Boom! 
Oh, that was almost blocked. Alright, that's good for the Tennessee Titans. They got all the time in the world to simulate the punt, and now we just gotta... Let's watch this drive from the, from the Raiders. Oh, oh, manages to catch it. Riz on, throws it deep, and actually catches it. Yo, fucking, uh, sorry I'm not paying attention. Apparently, to NBA 2K's 21 soundtrack just got announced. Yo, according to Chainsaw Fan, it's supposed to have, this, it's supposed to have disingenuous in it. Yo, what? Oh, yo! Scrap Lasley with the six yard rush. Yo, sorry guys, I'm not paying attention. It's just, it's just the NBA 2K21 soundtrack just got leaked. Like, bro, I want, I want to show. Listen, the NBA 2K soundtrack has been nothing but bops. For like, you know, it has been nothing but bops, man. I'm so glad that the NBA soundtrack was lit. You know, 2K19 obviously has the best NBA 2K soundtrack. Now Nicholas Rizon throws it in. Alright, I gotta... Oh, this time with an amazing throw from Nicholas Rizon. Alright, let me show... Let me show the two NBA 2K21 soundtrack. Let me see this shit. Oh wait, no, Chain said never mind. Damn, actual garbage. Damn, Rizon has the ball. Rizon, oh, has a man wide open. Yo, let me see what the... Yo, Nicholas Rizon. We just gonna ignore the fact that he's 8-8 eight and eight and 74 yards. Alright, so... Hmm. And that's a touchdown, Raiders! Right here. As Nicholas Rizon throws the touchdown to Crown. Wait, is that say Crown? No, that's his cannon. I'm retarded. Yo, let's go. Touchdown, Nicholas Rizon. Boom! Look at that. They're going to kick in that field goal. That's good. Alright, now... Alright, I should honestly stop paying attention to the soundtrack and just... Oh, James, James Punk got intercepted. Rizon passes it for a touchdown. Yo, Chain really tried throwing a pass. Then that was a touchdown. Come on. Oh. Oh. Rizon actual balling off. God damn it, Chain. What are you supposed to do? Chain, do something. Oh, Chain, what are you doing? Alright, let's watch this drive. Remember, crazy things have happened. Oh, oh, Tim Lynch with the absolute brush of the century.
Alright, let me. Alright, now Chain Chomp. He has to make the absolute amazing comeback. His team came back from the Super Bowl and in the season opener. Can they do it here? Chain Chomp fan has the ball. He's going to throw it in. Right now, Chain Chomp has the ball. Oh, they're just going to keep going out of bounds. Bro, stop trying to go out of bounds. You need a touchdown in this section. He's trying to pause the clock or some shit. Chain Chomp throws it. Ah. Damn. Oh, yo, they have nothing left to lose. Because they're trying to go for it, Chain Chomp fan. You're going to need to throw an absolute banger of a ball. Chain Chomp fan. Chain Chomp. What are you doing, Chain? Gets picked off in the end zone. Oh, my God. You have got to be kidding me. Well, that might as well be the end of the game. Wait. Oh, yo. Okay. They almost came back. Yo, I was about to say. Let's just... Let's just... They almost came back. I really thought that was going to be the... I really thought this game was going to be a blowout. Apparently not. But they still lost. They still lost to Rizon. You know, that's basically all we needed to see. That was something that prime time... They really tried to come back. No, they actually really tried. Let's see. Chain Chomp fan threw two touchdowns, two interceptions. Nicholas Rizal threw three touchdowns, zero interceptions. That's fun. Rushing. Tim Lynch, 69 yards. Lap, scrap Lasley, 27 yards. And for receiving, DLC Gaming caught the ball for 50 or four yards and a touchdown. Impressive. And now, let's go on. Let's just go on to the next game. Shall we? Alright guys, and now here it is. The last game that we're showing off. It is none other than the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Miami Dolphins. Now, last time we ever did this matchup was, you know, last season. Where where the Steelers, where it was also Turmoil's final start as a Steeler that we caught live on camera. Because during that game, he also got injured. And we saw the debut of Lance Spencer, where he came back from a 17-3 lead. And for the Pittsburgh Steelers to win against the Dolphins, which is lit. Also, you notice that new stadium that the Dolphins have? Like, it's honestly looking pretty... It, it's looking pretty good. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm more of a Hard Rock Stadium guy, but... You know, this stadium, it is what it is. It's pretty It's pretty cool looking. Just gotta give them that. But yeah, we, put, we live in Miami, Florida. And live in Miami Stadium. So right now, the Dolphins, they're, we're, the Steelers are gonna kick this off. Also, I just noticed this. Juan Sanchez. I was looking at the speed. And Juan Sanchez is faster than Lamar Jackson. Like, I'm being serious. Juan Sanchez has 94 speed. While Lamar Jackson has 91 speed. That is wild. Anyway, right now, Mr. Juan Sanchez. The person that revived Miami into the Super Bowl contender. Passes it to Eli Monk for 15 yards. Yards. Last time we saw Eli, uh, last time we saw the Dolphins was in Week One, where they blew a lead to the Tennessee Titans. Right now, Eli Monk is starting out strong. Miami, they wanted this revenge game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right now, they're running this in with a running back, and he immediately gets injured. And guess what? That's not even their starting running back. Are you fucking serious? What is he, Sal Vulcano? Alright, now they're going to toss this off to their main running back. And he immediately runs to the O-lineman, you dumbass. Now, oh, this is, has to be the job for the man known as Juan Sanchez. Oh, 
Right now, Juan Sanchez. He's going to be the one having the ball, of course. Chucks it deep. Oh, actually catches it. Who was that? That wasn't Monk, but that was impressive from Mr. Juan Sanchez. Let's go. Hey, man, bro, stop touching him. You gay. Why is that Steelers person touching him? Like, bro. All right, that was Hill. He's not a subscriber, but he's also an elite wide receiver. As he throws it in to e Mr. Eli Monk, the man, the myth, the legend himself. That was Eli Monk. He made a Pro Bowl last year. No more. No, he was the number one overall pick in season one. As right now, the Miami Dolphins running back going to run this in. Right now, Juan Sanchez. Oh, throws it in for a touchdown. Look at that. Touchdown, Dolphins. Number 81, Lane catches that. Boom, catches it like it's nothing. Boom, Juan Sanchez starting off with a bang. Gotta simulate the punt. As right now, we're gonna see what the what the Steelers gotta offer. Lance Spencer, he made his debut and got and you know made and instantly become a fan favorite once he came back from seventeen to three lead to beat the Miami Dolphins. And by the way, I think that all happened while in Miami, which is fucking wild. So now we in Miami again, and now hopefully the Miami Dolphins don't blow another lead. Now of course their their coach is Kyle Shanahan, so they're probably gonna blow a lead at some point. They're just running this in with the running back. It's third and seven. Right now, they're going to run this in with their running back yet again. Come on. Like, bro, nobody needs to see this shit. Anyway, oh, oh, oh. Okay. I thought, honestly... I thought that was going to be a safety for a moment. Right now, Lane Spencer immediately going to start this off the run. Right now, Lane Spencer actually having the ball this time. Throws it. He caught that. No way. Number 80 catches it. That's going to be the end of the first. Let's go, Lance Spencer. Lance Spencer has the ball. He's going to throw it in. Number 44. Oh, this time Lane Spencer throws it in to Luke Crown right here. Luke Crown, almost a touchdown. He was one yard short. I feel like this is the best part of running in. Oh, they're passing it. Sure, why not? Whatever suits you. Lane Spencer, what are you doing, Lance? That was fumble. Oh, my God. They fumbled it. Holy shit, they fumbled it. Oh, they literally had one job. Lance Spencer, no, Lance. He fumbled the ball. He fumbled it away. Oh, shit, they, oh, shit, they're, they're throwing it deep. They're throwing it deep. Oh, no, we gotta watch this. Oh, damn, there it is. Juan Sanchez going 8-8, eight eight, 111 yards and a touchdown. He's going to have an MVP-like season. Mark my words. Right now, going to throw a dot. Oh, Eli Monk absolutely crossing him. Juan 
Juan Sanchez has the ball. He's going to throw it in. Damn. This time Juan Sanchez throws it to literally nobody. Right now Juan Sanchez throws it in. Juan Sanchez throws it. How is that not a touchdown? Yo. They're at the one yard. Hopefully Juan will pull a lance and fumble it. Boom. Throws a touchdown to whom you may be asking. Guess what? It is Monk TV. Eli Monk catches the touchdown pass from Juan Sanchez. Let's see that replay. See that up close. Boom. Catches it. That was a lead. That was an elite pass. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, you had one shot. Oh, shit. They're gonna... Nope. And they're gonna kick a field goal. So now it's 17-0. to How will the Steelers come back? How are the Miami Dolphins gonna... How are they gonna blow it? Because their coach, you know... Kyle Shanahan and you know the Miami Dolphins you know in the Steelers game last year and then in the first game this season they've been blowing the leads we'll have to see how Lance Spencer manages to catch up or unless they can actually can't do shit but it is a matter of time Lance Spencer has the ball throws it in boom catches it from Luke Crown himself. Let's go, Luke Crown. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Lance Spencer throws it into Luke Crown again. Or was that Luke Crown? That was Galactic Coin Kala. Lance Spencer has the ball. Throws it. Ah, oh, he was about to get sacked. I don't blame him for throwing it away. Lance Spencer has the ball. Oh, ah, oh, drops it. No way. Are they going to punt it? Don't tell me they're going to punt it. They are punting it. I don't blame them. They're at the 49-yard line. They need to punt it. Oh, I thought that was about to get blocked. He was lucky. That's at the one. That's at the one. That could be good for the Steelers. Oh, look at that. You saw. That was clean. That was clean. Now we have to watch. I want to see if this is a safety. How will the Dolphins do? Juan Sanchez has it in the end zone. Oh, Eli Monk drops it. No way. Juan Sanchez passes off to the running back. Oh, that's a safety. That's not a safety. That's a... Yo, you got to be kidding me. I swear to God. How will this handle? They're at the one. They're going to run this in, and that's going to be at the two. Now they have to punt it. Just don't fuck this up. Boom! Punting this. Damn. Now they're at the 44-yard line. That was a good return from Kala. Not a good. What am I saying? That's one yard punt. How will how will the Dolphins f this up? Lance Spencer has the ball. 
Throws it into Coin Kala. Let's go, Kala. Lance Spencer. Ah, oh, damn, that was a bad read. Damn. Coin Kyle thought he had it. Unfortunately, he didn't. They're going to run this? Okay, why not? Oh, crosses him. Right now, Lance Spencer. Oh! Catches it. Right now. Oh, he actually breaks off the tackle. And he gets the first. Oh, this time running this off with their running back yet again. And he gets at least the four yards. Gets four yards. Lance, Lance, oh damn, Lance is dead. Third and 13. You know, they can always kick a field goal if they wanted to, but then again, there, there's very limited time. You're going to need to have to pass a touchdown. Exactly what Lance Bench is going to do. Touchdown, Steelers. Who was that? That was number 18. Let's go. Lance Spencer throws an absolute dot to Holt. See that replay that was clean that that's clean that was clean and they get the kick oh damn penalty and that's gonna be the start of the fourth oh yo he's throwing dots he's throwing dots he's throwing dots that's scary Juan Sanchez, he's like, hell no, am I not blowing another lead already? I am about to, I'm about to show them what we're made of. As right now, his running back gets stopped. Right now, oh damn, oh, gets absolutely stopped. Third and six. Steelers need another stop. They're gonna have to stop in all the ball. Right now, Juan Sanchez knows that they he doesn't want to blow no lead. So instead he's gonna pass it in. Who is that? Eli Mock again trying to save their franchise from another guiding collapse. Right now, Sanchez throws it in! Ah, oh, almost picked off. Oh. Damn. Right now, Juan Sanchez almost picked off again. Juan Sanchez running this in. It's wide open. Touchdown Dolphins! And they are gonna kick in this field goal right here. Boom! Kicks it in. You know this could this could be the end for the Steelers. But again, this is the Dolphins. They're finding some way to F up. For example, right here, as Lane Spencer's actually driving it down the field. Lance Spencer dropping it off to his running back. Oh my god, except he's not going to run that through. Right now, they're having the strip ball aggressive playbook for Miami. Right now, Lance Spencer throws it in again to Coincala, and that's face mask, right? Face mask. 
defense. No, that shit on the back of my hand. Right now, Lance Spencer throws it deep for Kala for a touchdown. Steelers again. Look at this shit. Queen Kala gets the touchdown. Boom! Look at that shit. Touchdown. Steelers. Boom. Kala right there. 20 yard touchdown. And they are going to get the extra point. The kick is recovered by Miami as they have no other choice but to use up all their timeouts. And they have to punt it for a touchback. Right now, here's what the Steelers need to do in order to have their chance of winning. Lance Spencer needs to throw a dot. He needs to throw dots. And they need to get out of bounds. And he needs to have score a touchdown and a two-point conversion. And... Gonna need to score a touchdown, and then they have to recover the onside kick. Then they have to get into field goal position. That is exactly what the Steelers need to do. Lance Spencer, you're gonna throw it. Overthrows it. Steelers, Lance Spencer. Oh, oh, why, why are they always dropping this shit? Fourth and ten. They are not punting it. They have nothing left to lose. They know it's if they punt it, it's game over. What? Why are you? Why are you passing it right there? Oh no, never mind. That worked. What? The, what, what? What was that? Should have gotten out of bounds though. Lance Spencer. Lance Spencer gonna throw it in to his running back. You should have passed it on the sidelines, but you know what? The Steelers, I feel like they know what they're doing, but at the same time, I feel like I don't know what they're doing. For example, Lance Spencer, you're just standing there. Ah! Oh. Luckily, the clock stopped right there. Lance Spencer. Oh, flag on the play. Who's it on? That's on the offense. Holy shit. Third and 12, Lance Spencer going to need all the time in the world in order to pull this off. Oh, he had it for a moment and then he drops it. No way. Fourth and 12, they got one more shot at redemption. Lance Spencer, he's waiting for the right moment. He catches it! No, he doesn't! That's out of bounds! Oh my god, are you serious? Wait, they're saying booth review! They think he has it in! Does he have it in? He catches it! Oh, I don't know, man. This is a tough call. It's still Miami's ball. Game over. Game over. That was a good game. Steelers had to try Steelers tried to make a comeback, except it didn't work. So the Miami Dolphins, they get their revenge and win the game. Juan Sanchez in the camera, all excited. Lance Spencer, he's all sad and shit, man. And look at the cool two coaches, Kyle Shanahan and Game Master, saying good game to each other. Right now, the Kyle Shanahan, he's trying to prove that, you know, his Super Bowl run is trying to be real. It's, he's trying to make it a reality. That's what he's trying to make it do. So right now, as look at these highlights, boom, catches it right there. That was a good catch from Kyle right there, though. He's going to a Pro Bowl this year. Let's see the stats. Juan, Juan Sanchez, 264 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Lane Spencer, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, 183 yards. Russian, Sanchez, negative one. And Eli Monk with three. 
receiving the Monk with 95 yards and a touchdown, Coin Kyle 52 yards and a touchdown, and Queen and Luke Crown 57 yards and a touchdown. I mean, and zero touchdowns. What am I saying? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this week. As well, let's go to next week. All right, I'm we're in week seven now, and it's looking to be a pretty good schedule. So right now, week seven, you know, we got the usual matchups. I don't know what it wants to record though, to be honest. We might sh we might show off this match. This match looking cool. Oh yo, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. No, not no. Nah. We gotta show off some new subs every now and then. Probably this one. Pro no. Nah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just come to my conclusion later. Week six, Panthers and Buccaneers. Tampa beats Carolina. Shit. Damn, Jonathan Stokely beats Dallas. What is going on with Dallas, man? They kind of not good. You, oh, Turmoil and Lamar Jackson tie? What? Yo, Turmoil. He let a he let a drive to score 17 points. He was absolutely getting clapped. Then in, then in the fourth quarter, he scored 17 points in one quarter. And then they tie? Really? Yo, turmoil through a touchdown. That is Lamar Jackson. Yo, I gotta see this shit. Mother, mother freaking. Derpy Lala scored a touchdown and Diego scored a touchdown. That's fucking wild. But they tied. Holy shit. Miami, you know, they beat the Pittsburgh. We knew we saw the game. Oh, Houston beat the Chiefs. The Jets, they beat the Patriots. Holy shit. Jacksonville, they beat Cleveland. Oh, go to my Kev, they beat the Seahawks. Buffalo, they beat the Chargers. Arizona beat the... Yo, Washington, 0-5. and five. What is going on with the Redskins? What the hell? What is going on with the Redskins? Like, oh my god, I have never seen this. Yo, they went from going to the Super Bowl to now going 0-5, and five, you dead ass. What are the Cardinals doing? They literally went from 2 and 14 and now they have like 4 or 5 wins. Oh my god. Ooh, the Saint Ooh, the the Saints. They won by literally a safety. Yo, they even got a safety. They got a goddamn safety. Bro, that's fucking wild. And now 10 Oh, we what we already watched this game. We know what happened. San Francisco blows out Philly, yo, and then last but certainly not least, Green Bay beats Chicago. Because right now, Green Bay, they beat the Chicago. Chicago's winning streak came to an end as Steven Universe gets gets another W. So yeah, that's pretty fun. But but I kind of want. But before we end off, I kind of want to take a look at the standings. The Giants still remain undefeated. Do and. The Giants and Dolphins, they are five they've got five wins. They are tied for the best record. You know, the car let's let's do it by division. Let's see who's in the playoff race. So right now at division, yeah. So right now the Ravens absolutely dominating. You know, the Steelers and Browns, they're catching up. The Bengals, I don't know about them. You know, they still have faith. The FC South, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're doing good. The Texans, they doing good. The Titans not doing so good. The Titans, they're pretty trash. I mean, the Colts are pretty trash. The East, the Dolphins doing good. Bills catching up. The Patriots, though, still in there. The Jets trying to catch up. And now the West. The Chiefs suck. The Chiefs are three and three. The Broncos two and three. Raiders two and three. And the Chargers zero and six. The North, they got the Packers, who's doing good. And then everyone else still has three wins. All right. The South, the Buccaneers and Panthers are tied. The Falcons and Saints, they're trying to catch up. This division's looking to be the toughest besides besides the NFC North. The NFC East, the Giants undefeated, while the Redskins remained winless. That's surprising. The Cowboys trying to clinch that wild card. The Eagles, they still have faith. Now the West, the Cardinals bouncing back. The 49ers and the Rams trying to clinch the wild card. The Seahawks. Not doing so good. And now the final standings. Here they are. So right now, the top five worst teams. Number five is the Colts. 
at one and four and one. Number two is the Bengals at at you know number twenty eight the Colts at one four and one. Number twenty nine the Bengals at one and four. The Seahawks number thirty at one and five. Number thirty one the Redskins at zero and five. And number thirty two the Chargers at zero and six. That is wild. But right now. Let's check the awards. You know, week three, you know, you know, week two, nothing happens. Week three, nothing happened. Week four, nothing happened. Week five, Rollin picks up by night to win Offensive Player of the Week. And for week six, Tommy NGO wins week six. As, you know, he balled off. Right now, right now, here are the current leading stats in... Passing yards, it's Bailey Bailey, and then we got go to fight Kev, then we got picks up by night and surf falls, sure why not? And then in Russian it's where is he? Maxwell Mendez then Men then Corey Jones and for receiving It's Commander Diego, surprisingly. Then we got Derpy Lala and Sarah Sarah and Tina Gaming. But yeah, that's basically gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye!